Hey everybody, Multiclass Gamer here. Uh, wow, it feels weird to say that after all these all this time. Um, so, as you guys know, I've been on hiatus since the middle of November. Um, basically, what happened was I got sick. You know, for those of you who don't um, didn't see the post or anything, I, did I share a public post about that? I don't remember. Um, basically, in the middle of November, around the time that last DK64 episode came out, I got sick. Well. I mean, sick for my standards. Basically, the funny thing is, like, I have a very strong immune system. So, like, when people are all worried about the flu and whatnot, like, during flu season and whatnot, like, when there's, a, like, an outbreak of a flu virus, the worst thing that happens to me is I just get, like, um, I'll get, like, a fever, and that's about it. I mean, I, yeah, like, basically I get a sore throat and a fever. That's pretty much, like, what happens to me when I'm sick. That's about the extent of whenever I get sick so it wasn't that big of a deal honestly but usually what also happens whenever I do get sick is I feel kind of depressed I guess I don't know I don't really like to use a depression as a word to describe myself but um sometimes I just get kind of down I guess I feel down because I don't know and it's usually company like when, whenever I do get sick too like whenever um, I start to feel like depressed or something. Usually I can tell it means I'm going to be getting sick soon. I know, it's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, when, it, when that happens, um, it, it hit pretty hard. Like, I think basically it was sort of like, a, I, I, I guess at the time I kind of looked a bit, looked at it as like a seasonal depression thing, but I don't think that's really true because I don't, well, I don't know. I've been kind of feeling it as the season went on, but not to the extent that I did then. Because at that time, I was all I wanted to do was just lay down in my bed and just do nothing all day. That's all I wanted to do. Um, so that basically killed any motivation I had going, you know, doing the Let's Play episodes. But, um, and I'm not saying I'm coming back like right now, like not quite yet, um, but I'll get more into that later. Um, but yeah, basically, the sickness in November, which lasted like a day or two, I, I, I had to call in the work. It was, it's bad enough I had to call in work, but that's about it. Uh, you know, it's like for a couple days or so. Um, but basically, yeah, that and the depression, again, down feeling, I guess, just made me not want to continue working on videos, I guess, because, but like, I think another issue is just like the fact that, you know, since, since my channel is just not that big and never will be that big, I, I just don't really feel like a lot of fulfillment, I guess, whenever I make these, these, uh, LP episodes, because, you know, whatever effort I do put into them, I know Let's Plays aren't that difficult to make, you know, like, they might be too tedious at the, at the most. Um, maybe the game is hard, but, you know, a lot of these games I do aren't really that, I don't find them difficult, it's just the, you know, making the video, the video making process can be kind of tedious at times, basically, you know, kind of time consuming, and when, if you, when you put content out there, and you may try to de deny that viewership has anything to do with it but what it all comes down to is that you know if you if my videos aren't being watched or like if they're not getting a lot of views or especially when there's no comments like i think that's my biggest issue is like you know if a video has like 20 views but it has a lot of comments or like i don't know like 10 15 comments or so that video to me means a lot more to one where than i have like, say, a few hundred views and no comments at all, which there are plenty of videos like that on my channel. So those videos, to me, just don't really mean a lot. Like, they, I don't know, I just don't feel fulfilled when I make, when the videos, when that's all I get for a return on videos. So I'm not trying to blame you guys or anything. It's just, you know, I just think that maybe I'm doing something wrong. Because I always say, you know, please provide feedback in the comments, you know, if you want, want like, a change or something. But... I think it just comes down to people just aren't interested in whatever game I'm playing, which is usually, that's usually what it is, you know, because um, DK64, I knew going in, would not get a lot of views, you know, the original Let's Play didn't get a lot of views, I knew this one wouldn't, but yeah, I don't know, it just made me not want to work on it anymore once, when I still got that return anyway, so, I don't know. So, basically, the lack of fulfillment thing is what's going to be, um, what, what, prompt me to make changes to the content going forward whenever I do make a comeback. Um, so 
basically the main thing is is that I'm gonna start um, driving away from this whole prove record let's play thing I've been doing for the past 10 years. Um, it's just not working out. It's clearly not because I keep on going on hiatuses and whatnot because I'm not, you know, feeling like it's really doing much. My channel, my channel is like slowly, like at a snail's pace growing, basically. Like I still get subscribers, but just not to the point where it feels like fulfilling, I guess. So, um, what I'm going to do going forward is... You know, I don't want to worry too much about that, um, but I do want more involvement, I guess, with my viewers. I want to, I want more engagement, I guess, because I think that would make it, at least make it feel worth it if I at least got to, you know, engage more of my audience in making these videos. So, going forward, I'm not going to be doing pre-record Let's Plays usually anymore. Like, there still might be one here or there, and I still got all my um, current existing pre-record Let's Plays to finish, like... Uh, you know, obviously there's a DK64 one, there's a Battle from Key Bomb, and uh, there's another, another thing too, like leading up to the hiatus, I was, you know, mainly LP games I've already let's played in the past. I think that's that's another issue is that, you know, if I'm, whenever I do a game that I've already done before, just, I don't know, I just can't, I'm trying so hard to make it better than the original version that it just kind of kills any enjoyment of doing the, the uh, current let's play. I don't know. You know, it just feels too repetitive whenever I LP game I've already Let's Played before, at least pre-recorded. Um, so, going forward, um, instead of doing pre-recorded Let's Plays, I was thinking I would do start doing live streams instead. Like, uh, I know a lot of other LPers out there are kind of making this change too, where they're not, where they're, you know, driving away from uh, pre-recorded Let's Plays instead of just doing live streams. And honestly, I'm thinking of doing that too. I just think that it'd be better for me because, you know, live stream, you can just, you just play the game and your viewers are watching you and you're engaging with them at the same time. So, you know, I get to do my Let's Plays, but also engage with, engage with you guys more. So that's what I'm going to be doing going forward. It, whenever I do make a comeback, I'm going to be doing live streams instead of Let's Plays. Like basically I'll start off by doing like just one a week, you know, just kind of keep it, um, keep it minimal for my... So that way I can slowly kind of ease back into it. And then when I feel right, I can probably start doing like two live streams a week. I'm probably not going to do any more than two. Um, but that's basically going to be my the main uh, focus of my content going forward. And also, there's there's still more actually. Because in addition to doing live streams instead of pre-recorded Let's Plays, um, that's going to open up more time for me to do other stuff. And I was thinking, um, I actually really want to do something that involves more effort. Like I want to do... I want to do video game reviews, actually. I want to review games that I've done Let's Plays of and also games I probably haven't played on this channel yet, you know. I just want to... I just want to do something that that's a bit more scripted, you know. I just think that'd be a lot more fun to do and I could, you know, share my feelings about it, about games. Like, I know um, there's a lot of the games that I'll probably end up reviewing are probably games I've gone, like, already, you know, reviewed by all the big YouTubers and... You know, my chan I, I cannot expect my channel to get anywhere near um, as successful as, as those channels, but I still want to do, at least do something that makes me feel fulfilled, you know? And I just think that if I do something that requires a little more effort on my part than, you know, a little more time and effort, then I think maybe that will, you know, help, you know, make it more meaningful, I guess. I don't know. So, um... But yeah, video game reviews, they won't come often if I do make them. They're just going to be kind of thing where I just take my time. You know, I don't rush them and just put them out whenever I finish making them. And actually, over the past couple months, since I've not been doing Let's Plays, what I have been doing is just recording myself playing games that I'm good at, basically. And the reason why is because so I can have footage for those upcoming reviews of those games. So um, definitely be looking forward to those. Um, but yeah, they're going to be more scripted. I'm going to try and put more editing into those because I think one thing that's um, also kind of killed my motivation is the fact that Let's Plays don't require a lot of editing. So, you know, I just feel like I'm just not, you know, if I continue to do something that requires very little um, editing, then I'm just not going to feel like I matter that much. Like my, my channel is just not good enough 
because I'm not making these uh these high quality videos that all these other channels put out. So I don't know. I just think that if I'm at least doing that, then I could, you know, and I'm still not getting a lot of viewers out of it, then I could still take solace in the fact that, well, it's not because I'm not putting enough effort in, it's just because I'm, I'm just not, I don't know, I'm just not the kind of person that brings in a lot of viewers, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But that's basically the plans going forward is live streams and video game reviews whenever they come. Um, there's other stuff, too, I'm interested in doing. Like, I want to share my video game collection, so I might start making videos where I'm like, hey, I picked up this... I went to this uh, retro game store today. I picked up this game, so-and-so. Um, like, I went to... Like, there's a bunch of uh, uh, retro video game stores close to me that I like to visit whenever I can. Um, you know, retro game collecting is a very expensive hobby, I will say that. And because of that, I don't do it very often. Um... Whenever I do go to a video game store, I, uh, retro video game store, I cannot stop myself from spending at least 120 bucks. Usually, at least 100, probably sometimes even 200 bucks. I, it, it takes a lot of effort to not spend that much money whenever I go to those places. So I don't go very often. But that's basically um, something I want to do as well. Is just share retro games, kind of you know, and talk about them with people. I guess. Um, maybe even do them as part of live streams. But the thing is, if I, you know, with, with this whole live stream thing going forward, basically, um, when I play these games, I can, these can be your, like a replacement for the Q&As like I've done in the past. I've done monthly Q&As in the past. Well, these can kind of replace them because I can just answer questions as I'm looking at them in the comments. No, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do these uh, live streams on Twitch or YouTube. I'm not, I haven't decided that yet. And I also haven't decided if I'm going to finish existing let's plays on the live streams you know i haven't figured that out quite yet and i'm also not sure about the spongebob marathon i'm still gonna continue it don't worry it's just gonna be uh, it's just on hiatus like all my other let's plays currently um i still want to go through and finish the spongebob let's play marathon hell i've come i've collected every existing console spongebob game all the consoles the handhelds and most of the pc games i don't have all the pc games but I've collected all the console and handheld Spongebob games out there currently. I don't have all the, you know, those TV games, like those little plug-and-play games. I don't have all of those quite yet, but, you know, as far as all the console and handheld Spongebob games, not the Nicktoons ones, but, like, the Spongebob exclusive games, um, I've collected all of those at this point, so there's a lot of potential with that. Um, even, although there are some consoles I don't own yet, like, I... I have all the Spongebob games, like, say, for instance, on the Xbox 360, but I don't have an Xbox 360 yet, you know. And there's one Spongebob game on the PS3, uh, Plankton's Robotic Revenge, the port on the P PS3. I don't have a PS3 yet. Um, there's also um, the the PlayStation Vita. I don't have a PlayStation Vita yet. There's, like, a, one Spongebob game on there. It's Hero Pants. Yeah, so... There's consoles I still have to collect, but basically I have all the Spongebob games out there, so. I can I can still definitely do the marathon, like I can still finish up the marathon well, as long as I get those existing consoles coming up, so. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. So I don't know if I'm going to finish that on the uh, live streams or not, but. Um, basically, another thing I was considering doing is uh, cartoon series reactions. I have talked about in the past doing, you know, reactions, because like that's just something I'm interested in. Because I like I do watch reaction uh, videos or channels, and I I do think it's pretty cool to watch reactions. It's just I don't know, just my opinion. I know some people aren't into that, and you don't have to watch them when they do. Whenever they do come, it's up to you. Uh, but basically, I was thinking of doing cartoon series reactions. But if I do that, um, they're gonna not be on YouTube. They're gonna be on BitChute. I was thinking of making a BitChute account and just putting them there. Because I don't want to get copyright claims or strikes or anything like that, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take that risk. But, um, but yeah, there are certain cartoon series that I'd like to react to. If you guys are interested in watching them, uh, there's a couple adult ones, and there's some uh, um, Cartoon Network shows like a uh, BoJack Horseman, Steven Universe, Metro Time, Bob's Burgers, Star vs. the Force of Evil, um, Gravity Falls, and We Bear Bears. Those are just some. Shows I'm interested in watching, but I'm waiting on t in case I decide to do like a cartoon series reaction. So if you guys, if any of you guys in my um, subscriber base um, watch cartoons and are into that sort of thing, like into watching um, reactions to them, definitely let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely consider doing making a bitch account and, and doing those. Basically, I would be, 
on this channel, I would just put like a um, what you call it a, a redirects to those videos whenever I put them out, basically. So there's that. Um, and there's also my Patreon account, and also I'd still like to thank um the one person who supported me on there, um, Jose the Texas Scratcher. I'd still like to thank him for supporting me all those months on there. Um, but basically, um, back in December, I freezed the Patreon basically because I wasn't putting out content. So there was no time, no point in being in there. Um, but basically, I'm gonna make changes to that whenever I bring that back. Um, but I really want you guys, I really want you guys to let me know like what's um, what you'd be more supportive of, like on Patreon, because I was thinking of just not having anything behind a paywall and just saying, here's my Patreon, support me if you want to. It's just here. Um, if you want me to continue making content, um, if I might not have anything behind paywall, I just might have like the option just to donate to me on there, maybe like a certain amount per video, like one dollar per video or something like that. That's probably what it would be is like just one dollar per video if you just want to support me. Um, but which would basically be like the video game reviews, and again, I don't put those out very often, so I don't know. I don't know if the live streams would count towards that either. I'm just not entirely sure. But either way, that's an option. Um, so some of you are probably wondering when I'll be back. Um, basically, that's the whole issue is that I need a new computer. Like I just, I just, I need better equipment. That's what. That's another issue that's preventing me from um, continuing to make videos. I just, I need better equipment. I need better internet. Um, definitely need a new computer because basically it's 2020 and I'm using a Windows 7 PC. Like no joke. Windows 7 is no longer support as of last month, and I'm still using a Windows 7 PC, so I need a new computer. Like, I seriously do. I cannot stress that enough. And this old computer, because I'm using an old computer like this, I can't do, you know, face cam Let's Plays. It's just, it's just not happening. So that's why Luigi's Mansion went on hiatus after, like, only three episodes, because I just can't do it. Like, I can't work with my PC because it's just, it, the... Um, the timeline on my Pinnacle Studio, it just slows to a snail's pace, like, whenever, um, I have anything ed intensity, edit intensive on there, basically, and that's, that includes just having a face cam above the, the video game footage, so that's why Luigi's Mansion just, um, can't be finished at this point, or until I get the new computer. And I don't know how long that's gonna be, because new computers are not cheap, you know, there's, there are at least a few hundred bucks. I do have a, a laptop that's more modern. I do have a Windows 8 la a laptop that I got a few years ago for my birthday. Um, I might use that for now, but I just don't know if it's going to have the... Um, I don't know if that's going to be able to be what I need going forward, basically. Because I want to put out better content. I want to put out higher quality content. I want to put out um, 60 frames per second for 4K videos. I really want to. It's just... I don't know. What it all comes down to is I'm just stuck in the past, you know? That's basically what it is. I'm stuck with the 720 or 1080p videos at best, you know? That's just not good enough for what, what we have today. So, that's basically all I have to say. Um, I just want to let you guys know what's going on. Um, I'm sure... I don't know how long it's going to be till I come back, but I do would like to definitely come back this this year and start getting all this new content out and start trying new things, you know. I'm just really looking forward to that, and I'm looking forward to letting go of the past. And, um, But as far as the existing Let's Plays go, eventually I will finish those. That's probably still pre-recorded. Um, but basically, whenever I get around to doing live streams, basically I'll just play whatever you guys want me to play that week or something like that. I don't know. Or I might just make the decision myself. I'm just not... Not quite sure yet how to implement that, but I'll figure it out whenever the time comes. So, at any point, please let me know in the comments what you guys would like me to do. Um, I really appreciate feedback whenever I get it. So, um, but yeah, definitely let me know, and um, I'll keep you keep you guys updated whenever I come back. Um, I might have my, I might make video make a video here and there, like, share my video game co collections, because those are simple to make, you know, it's just recording with my phone and stuff like that. Um, I might do that in, in the meantime, but that's about it, so. I will see you guys uh, whenever I post my next video, or whenever I come back for officially. Um, until then, uh, keep on gaming.